In our journey through life, especially on the spiritual path, we often get tangled in the metrics of achievement that society lays out for us. We think that reading countless books or mastering various meditation techniques is what truly counts. While knowledge and practice are certainly important, let me share a deeper truth with you today. The true measure of our spiritual growth lies not in these accomplishments, but in how well we conquer the defects inherent in our minds. Consider the qualities we often struggle with. Lust, anger, greed, delusion, envy, and pride. These are identified as the six core enemies of a seeker. These emotions can weigh heavily on us, acting as barriers to our inner peace. A young person might experience lust as an overwhelming desire for a relationship or an object, which can cloud their judgment and bring distress. In the heat of anger, one might lash out at friends or loved ones, creating rifts that cause profound regret later on. And greed, too, can take various forms, not just a desire for money, but a craving for validation and attention. As we navigate our daily lives, we must carry an honest scorecard of our progress in overcoming these inner adversaries. At the end of a day or week, take a moment for self-reflection. Ask yourself, how many times did I let lust, anger, greed, or delusion lead me astray? When you can acknowledge the moments when you've acted from these places, you begin to cultivate awareness. This awareness is like a mirror, reflecting both your victories and your shortcomings. For example, you may find yourself at school or work, and a coworker might receive praise for a project you poured your heart and soul into. It's natural to feel a twinge of jealousy or disappointment. But watch closely. Can you pause for a moment and celebrate their success, rather than dwell on your envy? That's a moment of victory over greed and delusion. It is in these small, everyday choices that we truly measure our growth. Slipping into negative emotions isn't the end. It's about what we do next. How quickly can we shift our perspective? How readily can we choose to respond with love, understanding, or forgiveness? Each time you catch yourself in reaction, you have an opportunity to respond differently. Celebrate those moments when you choose kindness over frustration, when you decide to act with compassion instead of indifference. You may stumble, but you must get back up and continuing the work. With practice, this gap can reduce, and you can come to a point where the lower emotions are totally eradicated. Examine this regularly, like a monthly check-in with your heart. If you find yourself answering honestly that you succumbed to these vices more often than not, perhaps it's a sign to deepen your practice, to lean into introspection, and to seek guidance from those who inspire you. The essence of the spiritual journey is to grow beyond these desires and emotions by transforming them, to purify the mind. The peace is inherent within, we do not have to cultivate it. Remember that this journey is not a race, it is a gradual unfolding of your true self. So as you go about your life, let every challenging moment be a lesson, every encounter a teacher, and let kindness and awareness guide you towards inner liberation. Separate yourself from the noise of the mind, and step into the stillness that resides within. That stillness is where your true growth occurs. Embrace it, nurture it, and let it guide you as you continue your journey forward. Thank you.